a potent storm system possibly bringing severe storms, flooding, and even heavy snow is looking increasingly possible, but for what areas? Well, that's exactly what we will be reviewing on today's video. Before we get into the information, I will ask that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more updates on this storm. With that being said, let's begin. Model guidance is beginning to agree on a storm system developing in the southern United States on Tuesday, bringing heavy rainfall and possible severe storms. As the system intensifies throughout the middle of the week, it may interact with some cold air over the Midwest and Great Lakes, allowing for snow to develop on the northern side of the low-pressure system. At the same time, an area of snowfall in the northwest will move in behind it. When the first storm ejects northward, the other system behind it will chase after the first storm, before possibly just barely grabbing onto it as it heads out of the country. This could bring another chance of snow for the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, and Northeast. While disagreement does continue within the models about how this plays out, we are seeing some consistency regarding the overall pattern during this time frame. Because of this uncertainty, it's still a little bit early to look at snowfall accumulations with this storm, but I'm going to show you anyway just to give you a basic idea. If current model guidance does come to fruition, it seems plausible that some snow will begin to fall around Kansas or Nebraska, becoming heavier and more widespread as you go further north into places like Wisconsin and Michigan. That second system that comes in behind it may also bring a quick coating of snow from the Rockies into the Dakotas and upper Midwest. The amount of snow that the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley, and Northeast receives will be largely dependent on how much this clipper system interacts with the other storm system that came in first. As we learn more about the development of this complex storm system, I'll be sure to provide more updates. One thing that is looking more certain is the heavy rain and storms in the south. The Storm Prediction Center has already highlighted parts of southeast Texas in a marginal risk for Tuesday, February 7. Even though it's only a marginal risk, it's very possible that we will see a categorical upgrade as confidence in severe weather increases. For now, just keep in mind that places in and around this marginal risk do have the potential at seeing some strong to severe storms. These thunderstorms will also produce very heavy rain in some locations, which is why we see a slight risk over the Arklatex region. This is where the risk of excessive rainfall is highest, so make sure you are prepared for heavy rainfall on Tuesday. And that concludes this forecast update. If you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing if you are interested in seeing more updates.